guys, I'm back with Mark's Midweek Chad Shop Haul and I'm sorry if the lighting's a little bit weird. It's literally like, I think it's about half past 11 or 12 o'clock at night on Saturday night and so there's no natural light and I've got lamps sort of set up so I'm sorry if the lighting's not right. I thought I'd go for a little change of scenery so we are filming today in my living, today, tonight in my living room. Anyway, I'll just jump right into what I got. The clothes, again, were all between 60 pence and a pound. It normally goes to the same place so they're all usually about the same sort of price so I'll jump right in and show you the first thing. First thing is this vintage Marks and Spencer's top. It's got the vintage label on it and it looks like this. It's these very 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 soft pastel colours. This is actually, and Mark said it as well, much nicer on than it is in person. I really like the way the neck sits. It's quite high up. It's just, it's actually really classy looking and really really pretty. Like I said it's from Marks and Spencer's and you can see that I like vintage things because my couch is vintage and my curtains, could not think of the word for curtains there. My curtains are vintage, my couch is like vintage, antique, I've just got antiques and vintage stuff over my whole entire house so I love vintage stuff so I'm very happy to add that to my little vintage collection so I'll show you what it looks like on now. <laughs> was this little top. This is from George and it looks like this. It's very very soft material. I do love soft material. It looks like this. It's got a little knot here. It looks like it might be sort of cropped. When, when I tried it on it isn't cropped. I don't really, I don't usually like cropped tops. It looks like this. It's this really pretty feminine pattern on it like this. It's the same on the back. It's just quite plain but really really easy to throw on in the summer. It just goes with anything. I think I tried it on with I'm not sure if it was jeans or denim shorts, but you could wear it pretty much with anything and it's just comfy and cool and nice. So I will show you what that looks like on now. The next thing is this, oh, it's came unfastened at the neck, sorry. Then I'll just do this little button up so I can show you it properly. This is from Oasis, it's a size 10 and it looks like this. It's slightly sheer and it's this little, this isn't a vest top, like a sleeveless sort of top. And the thing that's nice about it is this, it's got almost a roll, if you can see that, like a roll of gold sequins. I think that just gives it a little bit of edge. I like it. I do like this. It fits nice, nice and flowy, easy to chuck on and... Yes, I like that and I will show you what it looks like on now. So the next thing I wasn't entirely sure about, when I first saw it I thought it looked like a suit of armour. I'm not really sure why but I thought it looked like a suit of armour. That's the first thing that popped into my head. Don't know if you can see what I mean by that. It looks like this. But when I tried it on, it actually fits really, really nice. It looks really dressy. I showed it in the clip with a pair of jeans because I don't own a pair of back trousers, but I think this would look really, really lovely for a night out or going somewhere nice and smart with a pair of black trousers. I should probably buy a pair of black trousers. But yeah, I think this would look nice with a pair of nice tailored black trousers. It's super stretchy like that. It doesn't have any zips. It doesn't have any openings. It literally just slips on. It's really comfortable to wear, but it actually looks really quite dressy. This is sort of sheer satiny black, and then this is satiny gold material. I do, and I like the way it, you know, the little scalloped bottom, and I just like the way it fits, and it looks much nicer on than it does off, I think, anyway. So I will show you what it looks like now. <laughs> struggling a little bit to find oh I didn't tell you where the last thing was from I'm sorry so I'll show you it's from Talisa there like that and the next thing this I could not figure out what was the front and what was the back I have decided just based on where the labels are 
because the little label is here so I'm assuming that is the back and it's by this brand TFNC that and yeah it's a weird sort of so this is the front and then you can see how I thought this might have been the front I was a little bit confused anyway I've decided that this is the back even if that was the front that would be too low for me to wear that's a little bit out of my comfort zone it's just a chiffon -y, floaty dress in the clip I don't think you can see I wore it with a strapless bra but you could still see you obviously couldn't see the straps but you could still see the band across the back so I'm not really sure what kind of bra you would have to wear with that but you couldn't really see it because of my hair but I'd need to figure that out before I actually wore it outside but I will show you what it looks like on is just this super simple it's from Dorothy Perkins it's a size 8 just this little floaty sleeveless floral top it has got what are you what, what's the word embroidered sort of detail down the front could not think of that embroidered detail on the shoulders and the same on the back like that this is nice and comfortable and just perfect for the summer you can have enough of these little tops and yeah, I said it was from Dorothy Perkins and I will show you what it looks like on now. The next thing I thought was a dress until I tried it on and realised it was far too short to wear as a dress so I put a little pair of denim shorts underneath it. It's this I was just about to say this dress after saying it's not a dress. It's this long top like this. It's again very stretchy, very comfy, very bouncy, really really soft material. I'm sure you got me something else with a very similar pattern not that long ago. You must be attracted to that sort of pattern. It looks like this. It's really really comfortable and I was thinking because we're going on holiday, I don't know if anybody else does it, like when you're going on holiday you can't think about anything else. Well that's like me. I was thinking this might be quite good as like a beach cover up just to chuck on over your swimsuit or bikini if I'm feeling brave. Anyway, I'll show you what that looks like on now. The next thing he got me was this. I think this is absolutely beautiful. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm really attracted to blue colours lately. I don't know why, but it's this little dress. However, this dress is very, very short. I paired it with a pair of little slightly heeled black sandals in the clip, but I think if I was wearing it on my holiday say, I would wear it with maybe flip flops. Just, you know, you can get away with it a wee bit shorter if you wear flat shoes. It's lovely. It would be so sad if I wasn't able to wear it. It's super super stretchy so it's really really comfortable it zips in the back like this it's a sort of baby doll style that's got the little cap sleeves it's just really really lovely and whether it's short or not i'm going to be wearing this on holiday because i just absolutely love it so i will show you what it looks like on now <laughs> sure about but it's all right I'm not absolutely in love with it it makes you maybe my mum would prefer it it looks like this it's got these bat wing I'm not doing a good job of showing you these bat wing sleeves like this it comes down at a point in the front and a point in the back to me it kind of looks like my son's superman cape that's just what I thought as soon as I saw it like a red cape I think if I wore this, I would feel like some sort of superhero. Maybe that's not a bad thing. I might give it a go. I'll show you what it looks like on now. Was this? I don't think I said where this was from again. I think it's past my bedtime. Like I said, I think it's almost midnight. Oh, this is from 
M and Co and it's a size 10 and did I tell you where this was from? I don't think that I did, I really, past my bedtime. It's, this is from Blue Vanilla, that's what it says on it and it's a size medium but it's really quite neat so it must be quite a small medium. And this thing, this is from Primark and he doesn't normally pick up stuff from Primark, he said if he picks stuff up from Primark it's because he's not noticed it was from Primark. Just because Primark's already so cheap so when you get other brands you feel like you're getting more of a bargain when you get them cheaper but Primark stuff's already sort of cheap to start with but well I suppose you probably wouldn't get this for like 60 pence or a pound but anyway he doesn't normally pick it up but this was from Primark. It looks like this. He said that it's got a little bicycle with a little basket and he said that reminder I love Murder Shiro and Jessica Fletcher from Murder Shiro rides about on a little bicycle with a basket so that's what he thought when he got me and he thought I would love it and I do. Looks like this. It's navy blue and it's got the elastic waistband. And yeah, I just really like it. And I will show you what it looks like now. The next thing he got me was this. It's like a, not a jumper, not as heavy as a jumper. A, very thin, very almost sheer. This top, long sleeve top. It's like a thin jumper, maybe a not a sweatshirt because it's a sort of woolen material. Anyway, it's pink and white. It looks like this. It is super, super comfy and nice. It's from George. It's got this little tie on the back like this. I like this. It's very, very comfortable and it'll be nice to take away maybe on holiday for the days that are slightly chilly out there. Gone again about holiday. I can't think about anything else but this holiday. Anyway, I will show you what that looks like on. got me was this in the clip I did not tuck this in but when I saw that I don't I didn't like it out I feel like it's too sheer and you can see the bumps of where your jeans are and your, you know the loops belt loops on your jeans so I didn't really like this untucked I liked it maybe if it had something underneath it maybe like leggings or something where it's more of a smooth line but I didn't like it out with the jeans so if I was wearing it with jeans I would probably wear it tucked in but anyway it is this it is Neon, I would say, is a cross between yellow, like highlighter yellow, and green. Looks like this. It's got a zip right down the front like that. It is from F and F, which I think is Tesco. I'm pretty sure it's Tesco. It's got unbuttoned. When it's unbuttoned, it's got three quarter length sleeves. But when you roll them up and do the wee button, they come just above your elbow like that. It is nice. It's a little bit unusual. It's very unusual, and I do like unusual things. So I will show you what that looks like on. Oh, I was just about to say, and I'll the next item of clothing, but I just realised that that is in fact all the clothing, and he got me a couple of other things. Well, this is kind of clothing, not quite clothing. This is a pound, and he picked this up. He thought it would be nice as a nice summer scarf. Looks like this. I'm trying to work out what's on it. I think it's a little ladybird. There's flowers. There is a butterfly. It's just got this nice pattern like this. It's very, very sheer. And on the bottom it says David Emmanuel 2013. Like a little signature on the bottom like that. And he's paid a pound for this. I don't know if I said that. But I thought that was a good deal. And I think I will wear this quite a lot in the summer. So I like that and of course you know that you had to buy me a handbag because I love handbags and the handbag you got me was this. It is by Fiorelli. Looks like this. It's got a little Fiorelli on this bit here. He paid £2.50 for this. It's got these straps. Good straps. I do not like a bag like I've said before that you have to hold on the crook of your arm or hold like this. I can't be bothered with that. Anyway, it looks like this. It's in really good condition. It's got a little buckle there, a little buckle there. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. It's got lots of pouches. It's got two big compartments. And in this little compartment, it's got the little slip pockets. In this compartment, it's got the little zip pouch like this. And yeah, I like it. It's just easy. It's a good sort of everyday bag. 
this chuff of yourself in it. It's not too big, but it's not too small either. I like it. And the very last thing he got me was this belt. Looks like this is brown leather, but that sort of cowboy type western feel to it. Like this, and it's got the big buckle on the front like that. And it's the perfect fit. I tried it on and it fits me absolutely perfect. There's no markings or anything to say where this is from, so I do not know where this is from, but he paid a pound for that. And I think that is in fact everything from the haul today. I have another haul which was the one that he got just on Friday there and I've still to film that and that is going to be I think quite a big haul. He did pick up quite a lot of stuff. So I'm looking forward to filming that and it's got a couple of things in it that I absolutely love. I think they might actually be my favourite type of all time of all the Friday hauls. This might be my favourite one. So I'm looking forward to seeing you again then and thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!